New at 6, you could see, soon see more traffic popping up in one Treasure Coast community. Drivers already share the road with walkers and bikers, but now something else could be hitting the streets. News Channel 5's John Shaman is live at Fort St. Lucie City Hall to explain. John. Jay and Kelly, they're talking about golf carts here and how to regulate them. Now, the council this afternoon decided to hold off on a decision until they get a better handle on how they would work best. Now, I spoke with one woman who would like to see a new ordinance so she doesn't feel like a prisoner in her own home. In the Sandpiper Bay community, there are cars parked outside many homes. Not Gail Higley's. But I gave it up because I'm afraid to drive anymore. <laughs> Higley and her son often get around on this. We live in a golf community. Hello. Most of what they need is just around the corner. One block away. But the Higley's say they've received many warnings from police about riding in their golf cart. The question is, do we want to entertain golf carts? Monday, Port St. Lucie Police Chief John Balduck presented a proposed ordinance that would allow golf carts to be used between sunrise and sunset on locally funded roads with a speed limit of 30 miles per hour or less. So what about the ones that I've seen on Tradition Parkway? In neighborhoods like Tradition, six-year-old Cohen gets carted to the park. Like if it's near us. Well, then we take the golf cart. His camera shy mom tells me they bought a golf cart before they bought their house. You know, it's environmentally friendly, cost effective. We have seat belts, so it's safe. Former golf pro Tom Roberts says he doesn't have an issue with the carts in his neighborhood, but adds they're motorized vehicles and someone could get hurt if they're not careful. The majority of the people are really good and they're courteous with them, but there's always that one that thinks he can drive anywhere. And Wookiee's owner, James Fisher, <laughs> says he's thinking of moving to tradition so he can use a cart instead of a car. This is a nice community for golf carts. Now, the initial ordinance would allow people as young as 14 to operate a golf cart. Some of the council members here with concerns over that, they'd like to see a permit or license required. The council will bring this topic back up again at a future meeting. We're live tonight in Port St. Lucie. John Shane with WPTV News Channel 5.